So making potatoes for pierogies are not quite as easy just because you got to peel all the potatoes. I usually get kind of like a russet potato. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I wouldn't do probably Yukon Golds. I don't know, you probably could, but or red potatoes. But just basically you want a basic white potato. I just uh, peeled my potatoes. I forgot to tell you how many potatoes to peel or whatever. I don't really know a number. I usually do about five pounds to eight pounds and that's just because I'm making more pierogies than most people. Um, and I also wanted to have some extra um, potatoes for pagach, which I'm hoping that Ben will make for us later. Okay, so um, you know that I don't know if you know, but the trick about doing potatoes is you want to quarter them and then maybe eighth them, and depending on how big your potatoes are, and you want them to be uh, relatively the same size. By making them the same size then you'll have them you know cook and be done all at the same time i have this pan and i have them full of potatoes probably a eight quart pan maybe and it's pretty much full of potatoes so after i cubed my potatoes i went ahead and rinsed them and then filled it back up with water again and um, now i put them on to boil now they'll have to cook over 20 minutes so my potatoes are done i drained them in a colander i'm gonna let them sit here for just a few minutes and drain, but I want to keep them um, warm, so I'm going to go ahead and cover them and let them just sit there for a minute while I shred my cheese. So my mom always used Colby Longhorn cheese. Um, this is what I found at Myers. Uh, Colby's kind of hard to find, just plain. You'll see Kobe Jack or whatever, but just plain Colby is hard to find sometimes. I get it at Myers. Hopefully you can find it at your store. So I just have the brick cheese and then I'm going to go ahead and shred it. These are, looks like eight ounce uh, things. I've got three eight ounces. Probably for five pounds of potatoes I might use one and a half or maybe two of these packages. But certainly you're not going to need all that for the little bit of pierogies you're going to make. So while my potatoes are hot, I'm going to go ahead and put them back into the container that I originally boiled them in because you want you know you want them hot because you got to melt the cheese and the butter here's my cheese that I grated so I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese in here and I just grated them with my grater on this side of the grater but you know actually I know that people put them in the food processor or whatever. That's fine too. Whatever you've got to, to shred your cheese works fine. A lot of people will use cheddar cheese and when you buy Mrs. T's they're always made with cheddar cheese but I'm just doing what mom did. So um, you got your Colby cheese. I might put some more in there. We'll see. I just like to taste them. And then you just put some salt. You know, we Gowalskis, we love our salt and um, also our butter. So you're going to put some butter in there. I'm going to start with three quarters of a stick of butter and we'll see how it goes. But certainly you don't need to use all that because you're not going to be make as many as I'm making. So, so I got my butter in. Now all I'm going to do is I might chop up the butter a little bit so it melts a little bit easier. But this butter was sitting out so it should melt pretty easy. And then I'm just going to go ahead and um, cover these up and let the cheese melt a little bit before I run the mixer and mix them up. So my cheese and my butter are pretty much melted as much as they're probably going to be right now. And now I'm just going to take my mixer. I just have a hand mixer. And I'm going to go ahead and mash my potatoes. And really, that's all there is to it. One of the things you need to know is that you do not put milk in these. Because you want your potatoes really, really thick for the pierogies. So do not put milk in these. So I did end up adding more salt, more butter, and another half a brick of cheese. Because you know how we Gowalskis are. We rock with the salt, the butter, and of course you can never have too much cheese. So the potatoes are done. They'll be fine until tomorrow. I'll probably put them in a plastic container with a lid. Be careful with like refrigerating them too long. So if you're going to make your pierogi, you don't want this 
uh, potato to sit around too long because what will happen is they'll get watery if it's in the fridge and and then it makes your potatoes really hard to uh, make pierogies so we're all done with learning how to mash our potatoes so you're all ready to make pierogies